Hi there Aries, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you for the week of April the 17th. Wow, what a week for you. There's so much going on in and around your sign. Okay, so um, uh, we've got Mercury is going to move back into your sign. Uh, let's see when that's happening. So about around midweek. So on its retrograde transit. So You've certainly had Mercury a lot this, during this time. It's the planet of communication. Uh, you want to make sure that you get uh, information correct. It's a great time to do some study, great time to learn something new, and really throw yourself into planning and getting organized. Now, particularly with your own um, schedule and regime but also to do with money and terrific time to be working on your self-worth as well so any area that you feel that perhaps you don't you, you listen to your self-talk you know and go through every area of life um, spiritual career financial family love uh, health and well-being social uh, intellectual and look at all of those areas of life and just sort of observe how you feel about them and how you feel about yourself all this activity going on in your solar second house then that's a great time to sort of deal with any old beliefs that you really are just carrying around they're blocking your energy and they're not really serving you at, at any level okay this is the time particularly with mercury um, having been or in still at the start of the week in your solar second house and then traveling back into yours. Now Pluto in your career zone is going to go retrograde as well right at the end of the week over the next weekend. Okay so there's a lot of retrograde this um, month so uh, you know gives us a chance to do some planning but the great things that are happening uh, is that the Sun and Mercury are going to conjunct Venus and um, Mars are in a sextile and the Sun and Saturn are in a trine so all fabulous um, dynamic you know action uh, activity bringing things together so even though the retrograde can slow things up and you feel that you know maybe you're not moving as fast as you like that's probably always for you Aries um, you can get if you plan it out do one step at a time don't getting don't try to take on too much then things can really start to come together for you now okay and in the way that you get some clarity not just now but about your long term um, your long dream and goals okay and don't be surprised over this time if you actually change a few things okay so let's face it as we grow and evolve you know the plans that in the goals and the inspiration aspirations you said like yesterday or last week or last month or last year can all change you know in an instant so allow yourself during this period over these next few weeks to change your mind without feeling guilty about it okay all right, so love and luck to you, and um, I do have a special on at the moment with my readings. Any reading that's booked uh, in for the rest of April, I will be providing a free angel report, and it's not even a report that I generally, um, it, you know, provide, but it's a beautiful report. It goes through your your angels. It's worked out on your um, birth. Um, you know data and uh, it's just a lovely report so I'm going to put that in as a as a complimentary report for any booking for the rest of April okay love and luck to you we'll see you next week